This is just a short video on how to make a poster in Canva. Um, you can see there's different aspects of, or different things you can click on. So if you click on the first one, the sort of big icon, posters, you can make a poster by just clicking on that. So you can see down the side, there's lots of different templates that you can use. Um, they have things like For You, Recently Used, and different sort of activities. So if like Halloween is just coming up, um, you would click on that, or Christmas is just coming up. And just scrolling down, you can see there's lots of different ones, and the templates are quite useful. So you come out of that and go and you can create a design. So you can click on that and then you've got lots of different options. You go to poster, but as you can see, there's other things like videos, but you would click on that also to make a poster and the exact same screen comes up. So again, relatively straightforward. If you come out of that again and you can go up to the top and go to templates and again, just go over and click poster. So you go over, click poster and um, it would take you to a different page this time. So this page has uh, posters, um, they're a bit easier to see, a bit bigger. Um, so you would go and pick one of the options down below, so say you wanted to pick like classroom or um, Christmas or it could be like yard sale because it uses different words like that. Um, so there's some examples there. Um, but click on one classroom poster templates and you can use the classroom poster templates that are quite good, educational ones are good. Um, there's lots of different ones you can scroll through, pick the one you like best. And um, This is back in the main hub section. So this is me going to pick one of the posters. Um, so I do take a long time to pick the template that I like the best. Um, so as you can see, there's lots and lots of different ones. So I'm just going to pick this one. Um, so Encore Talent Show. So lots of different things you can do with this. So see down the side, you've got uploads. So we go to uploads and I've got lots of stuff uploaded already, but you can upload pictures, you can upload videos, you can upload audio. And um, as you can see, I've got lots and lots of my uploads. Um, and it's really straightforward. So literally you just click that big purple button and you can upload anything you want. You've then got um, pictures, so you can actually upload pictures. So they've got a stock um, of pictures that you can use if you can't find one that you have. You've also got um, different effects, so you've also got text, so you can click on text, you can change the colour, you can use the type of text, the size, backgrounds, so you can change your background. So I've changed the background to like kind of random <laughs> neon lights. Um, but again, you can just go through, pick any background you want, change the way it looks. This is quite funky, so we can go with this. And um, then to change the font, you just click on the, the text and you would just delete like usual and then say, right, McLaren High School. So McLaren High School, talent show. Um, you can then, there's other text box. You would click, just literally just click on the text box and type. Very straightforward, very, very simple. Um, you can use this not just for posters, like it's the exact same system for doing booklets, for doing newsletters, for doing guides. It's all very straightforward. It's very intuitive. That's not, it's not difficult. Um, so again, just now I'm still typing away. Um, so you can change and highlight the different colours as well. So this text I'm just about to write, I've deleted, so you can delete really easily as well. This one, if you highlight, see at the top, you can change the colour of your text. So you can put um, hexadecimal codes in up at the top or you can just pick the colour um, and you can change it to suit whatever sort of theme you're going for or what you think would make it stand out. Um, I think it, it's quite straightforward. Um, again, I'm going to change this code. Like, it's really straightforward to change the colour of the font. Um, if you want to add, for example, uploads, so most of our posters are McLarenized. Um, so scrolling down past all my baby pictures, um, you will find, um, still scrolling down, you'll find the McLaren High School badge. So just pop that in. You can then make it smaller to fit in. And then usually I just put the McLaren badge in the corner because I think it, it just hides it away a wee bit. Um, and again, it's really easy to move it. So you can just drag and drop, drag it over to whatever you want. What's quite good about Canva is it tells you when something is in the middle. So do you see on the page, it sort of like highlights stuff in pink. Um, so it tells you where things are and it links up with stuff so that everything's in the same line. Um, so it is really useful like that. Um, again, if you wanted to pop a picture in, it's really simple. You just click and pop in, make it smaller, drag it over. Picture of Ariana Grande. Um, so again, you can place it anywhere in the picture, just delete it like usual. Now, what's quite useful is you can put in something called frames. So if you were to go down and click the section that says frames, you can make your picture fit into a different shape. So um, 
I think they're quite useful, but there's lots of other different things you can do with these. So again, these are some of the effects that you can add in potentially if you wanted. So they have lots of different, I would go for cartoons, but um, they're mostly just images. So again, lots of different things you can do. Um, frames, if we're in frames just now, so there's quite cool frames. Um, you can do make it into like a laptop, you can make it into a phone, um, circles, shapes, triangles, like stars. So I've done this sort of scribble. So you literally just put the scribble in and then you change the size of it because it's obviously covering the writing. So make it smaller and then all you do is drag and drop your picture in. So I've just moved this about a wee bit. Go to uploads, but you can go to pictures. Um, and I'm just going to pick a picture. Actually, I'll just search for a picture. Um, I put a search singer, grab a singer, and pop them in. And it's as easy as that. No hassle, relatively quick, not difficult. Um, there's different views of it, and you can save it really easily. So if you just go, it saves everything automatically. But if you go to file, you can change the name of it. And then once you're done, you can just click download and download it. Again, it's relatively straightforward. Um, if you do have any questions, please come and see me. Um, but I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching the video on how to make a poster in Canva. Um, I hope it was relatively straightforward. Um, looking back on it, um, the screen's a wee bit small, but um, hopefully you sort of understood the basics. I would really recommend that you just get a Canva account, um, get the educational one, and um, just play about with it. It is really straightforward, it's really easy. Take some time out of your day just to try to make a poster or make a, pick something. Um, they have all the same sort of operating system, so it doesn't matter what you're using or making, that it's still the same. So if you work out how to make a poster, if you learn how to make a poster, you can do almost anything else. Um, and it, it is quite fun learning how to do it. Our pupils use it an awful lot and they really enjoy using it and it, it's quite straightforward. So I feel like if they can do it, we should be able to do it too. Um, thanks again for watching and if you have any questions or issues, please do email me. Thank you.